the scene of director Zoya Akhtar's luck by chance sets the mood for the two and a half hours or so that follow. In this scene, Konkana Sen Sharma, who stars as a struggling actress, finds herself being indirectly and indecently propositioned by a sleazy film producer. It's a humorous scene because the casting couch is one of Bollywood's oldest cliches and because Ali Khan, who plays the producer in question, performs that scene remarkably, giving her just the kind of smarmy lines you know you should never believe. But that scene is also dark and disturbing at the same time, especially when the camera stays on Konkana's uncomfortable expression in the end. You realize she wants the job so bad she's going to accept his advances, knowing fully well she's doing something wrong. Luck by Chance is an insider look at Bollywood and about making it in this big bad world of showbiz. And indeed it's a bad world, a world where friends are used and abused, where lovers are replaced overnight, where mothers manipulate their daughters and where you're only as important as your last hit. At the same time, director Zoya Akhtar's affection for the film industry is evident in her comic, often lovable take on the business and its people who she's observed so closely as an insider herself. The film then is a deeply layered portrait of an industry quite unlike any other, a sharp observation of the grime behind the glamour, the insecurities behind the smiling faces. The film follows Farhan Akhtar and Konkona Sen Sharma both playing wannabe actors who walk the walk and talk the talk and do everything it takes to realize their dreams. Both compromise on their principles to get ahead, but while one is successful, the other is not quite. This disparity ultimately driving a wedge through their relationship. Vikram Jaisi, I'm an actor. Sona. I'm doing the role of Piggy Productions in the next film in Parallel Zero. The trouble came to me, so what was it? Why? Five is your lucky number. Do it five. What are you saying? We don't have to go until we go. We have to go until we go. My picture is starting. Intuitively written by Akhtar herself, Luck by Chance is both insightful and funny. The film serves up a palette of colourful characters who may seem like caricatures on the outside, but come packed with emotional depth and even a tinge of sad backstory. Chief among these is greasy old-school film producer Romy Rolly, played astoundingly by Rishi Kapoor, who at one point we see break down when a superstar he created won't return his calls. Or the yesteryear siren turned pushy star mum played by Dimple Kapadia, who makes a shocking confession when confronted by her exasperated daughter. Akhtar also succeeds in keeping the mood light when necessary, packing a bag full of in-jokes, several delivered by the very characters they're aimed at. It's sporting of Sanjay Kapoor to play the failed actor brother of a big producer who turns his sights to direction. Or Anurag Kashyap, whose cast is the writer with a serious bent, bullied into plagiarizing a foreign film. Or even Hrithik Roshan as the superstar heartthrob caught up in his own image. Prepare to be pleasantly surprised by all the stars who make fleeting cameos and watch how cleverly Akhtar uses them. Akshay Khanna forever the pensive, indecisive fellow. Amir Khan, the actor, never entirely satisfied with his shot. And Abhishek Bachchan, who knows how to politely say no and who ends every conversation with an affectionate hello from his daddy. Despite its languid pace, luck by chance is rarely boring because it's got a solid story at its heart and the characters arouse such empathy. The film is helped considerably by razor-sharp dialogue and keen casting and the acting is consistently first-rate. Farhan Akhtar delivers a simple enough likeable performance that is just what the film required. No showy flourishes, no loud outbursts. Just a straight off spontaneous act that works like a dream. Konkona Sen Sharma proves yet again she's the go-to girl for complex layered characters and she does a swell job of investing heart and poignancy into the picture. In smaller roles, Juhi Chavla shines as the doting Mrs. Rolly and Isha Sharwani hits the right note as the not very bright star kid. Dimple Kapadia is terrific as the has-been star who is so easily seduced by a youngster's praise and Hrithik Roshan never disappoints. In fact, look out for that scene in which he responds to street urchins from inside his car. He's an actor who doesn't need dialogue to communicate. A word of praise also for the lesser known but abundantly talented Arjun Mathur who so convincingly portrays Farhan's friend and fellow acting aspirant who clashes with him. My personal favourite though remains Rishi Kapoor who leaves his stamp all over the film as the hilarious Romy Rolly. A significant debut by director Zoya Akhtar, luck by chance is heartwarming and heartbreaking in equal measure. Look closely at those layers beneath the laughs. An impressive achievement both in writing and direction, the film is full of witty moments and sharp observations that stay with you. Starting with the opening credit sequence which is the best I've seen in years. I'm going with 4 out of 5 and 2 thumbs up for director Zoya Akhtar's luck by chance. It's that rare Hindi film that deserves a repeat viewing just to savour its charm all over again. Zafar Khan is an image. You have to make a blockbuster TFL. What is it? This is the word for those people who don't have the courage to make their own life. You don't have to be an actor and you can't do it. This is the talent of 
साथ साथ लक भी बहुत बड़ा फैक्टर होता है